great to be back here. And I just, I want everybody to know that I'm all about love. You feel that. I don't want to hate people. You don't want to hate people. They make us hate them. We're victims. <laughs> so right now, I like all of you. Don't screw it up. You know what I don't like? I don't like when people profile me as a middle-aged woman. My own sister for my birthday gave me a bread maker. <laughs> yeah, because look at me. Clearly, I want to bake bread. <laughs> hey, what am I, a pilgrim? What is happening in America? There has been a resurgence of women who are knitting and quilting. Stitch and bitch societies are popping up all around the country. <laughs> My sister says to me, Maureen, why won't you try crocheting? Why? Because we had an industrial revolution. <laughs> the reason I'm not down at the banks of the river beating my bloomers on a rock. <laughs> I gotta tell you, no, I don't like being profiled. I got a call from an agent. He said, Maureen, I want you to perform on this big event, but you have to do menopause jokes. I'm like, you know, I, I can't, you know, I, not my thing. I don't have symptoms. He says, well, it pays $17,000. <laughs> I said, oh my God, I just had a hot flash. Like, I can't <laughs> stop sweating. I can't stop sweating. I can't stop sweating. So now I gotta head to the Bloomingdale's to get the makeup. And the young, hopeful, dewy thing, look like one of you, goes, oh, 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 they make product for your irritated skin. I'm like, well, that's not what's irritating me right now. <laughs> yeah, but your skin, it's mature as if it's contagious, <laughs> which it is. She'll, she'll get it in 20 years. <laughs> you have to go over there to the mature skin counter, way, way, way over there, past your prime. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> You'll see rage, regret. Go, go, go to the belly fat, the broken marriage, the gay ex-husband. <laughs> well, he was a golfer, it's the same thing. It is, it is, it is. Go, keep going, stay focused. Get to the gingivitis, the diverticulitis, the deep vein thrombosis. That's not a musical instrument. <laughs> when you get to the adult dignity diapers, stop, you're in the right place. <laughs> dignity diapers? And my doctor goes, well, you know, Maureen, at your age, you may need them because you could get sudden bladder leakage. Oh. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. When's that gonna happen? And she said, suddenly. <laughs> I mean, it could be tonight, I have no idea. I, I, I wouldn't wear open-toed shoes. I mean, <laughs> that's why I wear boots. That's why I wear boots. But you guys, I don't wanna deal with any of this. I don't wanna deal with any, I wanna run away from all of it. But I can't run, because I have a little rip in my hip. <laughs> I do. I'm seeing a physical therapist. He's digging into my hip flexor. Dig, 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 dig. Tears are in my face. He sees I'm in pain. He says, Maureen, in your mind, go to your special place. I said, well, you're so close. Why don't you go there? <laughs> I'm Maureen Lankin, you guys. I could never hate you. been practicing and going out there. I mean, you feel so confident. You feel like you're having fun. I can relate to all your jokes. I love you. Uh, if I could look like you, it would help me get through them. <laughs> Sign it. I like you, and I think people are gonna like you, and I respect you, by the way. Um, I think it's the hardest thing, you know, when you're following singers, dancers, you know, and it's loud, and you're only out there on your own, you're relying on your jokes. What I didn't hear was that big, big moment when something, one joke landed. I think it was good, I didn't love the audition. 